another video. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Esther and thank you so much for tuning in in today's video. You guys, oh my gosh. It has been a hot minute since I sat down and did a makeup tutorial and uploaded it on YouTube. I felt like that was such a twin sister, uploaded it. <laughs> but it has been a minute and y'all today, it's a new day, okay? I was inspired by this beautiful, let me stand up, this gorgeous, oh, dress, okay? Like, I will leave the link to this dress in the description box so you guys can see, like, the whole entire dress. But, y'all, I am so in love with just everything. Now, in case you want to order anything from Morphe, I have a discount code that you can use now. Woohoo! <laughs> I love Morphe products, y'all. It will be in the description box, so take advantage of that. So y'all can get some half off um, off of these palettes and everything that I'll be using for Morphe. So without further ado, y'all already know the drill. Go ahead and grab yourself a snack, get comfortable, and watch me slay and play with some makeup. All right, my babies, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to moisturize first because my hands are so dry and I'm also going to moisturize my face. Okay, so to moisturize my face, this is nothing new, but in case you're new to my channel... Um, this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel, and this is the Extra Dry Skin. I love this product so freaking much. This is pretty much the only drugstore moisturizer that I use, hands down, because it's so good. And it hydrates my skin really, really good. Now, if you don't have dry skin, you can still use this. They do have a normal one. I just normally get the Extra Dry Skin because, you know, my skin be crusty, but... I just did my skincare routine, so my face was super dry. For brows, I am gonna grab this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. Gonna quickly um, go ahead and fill in my brows. You guys have seen me do my brows so many times on my channel, but um, you know, I'm just still gonna put it in here. Probably fast pace it a little bit though, um, because this is a full face using affordable slash drugstore product. You know, I still gotta keep this part in so then it come all comes together okay I don't know why but I have like little bumps on my freaking brow so when it comes to me filling it in right now it kind of hurts I'm waiting for those little stupid bumps to pop because it feels so so weird oh like right there oh that hurts Okay, so the brows are good and they are done. Let me go ahead and sip my smoothie because I am starving and I feel like smoothies get you full and it's like a quick little snack every time I film my videos. So to clean up my brows, I'm going to grab this uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder Dark Circle Concealer and I'm just going to twist this bad boy so I can get some product out. I'm not really a big fan of the twisty thing it's not my cup of tea okay especially when i'm trying to get the product out but you know it is what it is so for the face i am going to start by priming my face with this wet and wild prime focus primer now, I have already used this primer once, but it's a good primer. Last time when I used it, I liked it, so I decided to use it for this makeup look today. And I do want to look a little, you know, hydrated and a little glowy. Okay, so for foundation, I am grabbing this Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation in the shade 125 Coconut. This one is another product that is hydrating. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was not planning on grabbing all of my products hydrating, but um, I was just grabbing products that I haven't really used and played with for a while. So it just seems like they're all hydrating. But let me go ahead and just work this all over my skin. I love this foundation. I think the last not the last one, a month ago now, if I'm not mistaken. I did like a, a wedding, a drugstore wedding makeup tutorial, and I used this foundation. You guys, ooh, this foundation is very, very, very pretty, and it's so, so flawless. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that all in with this Morphe G1 brush. It's a little smaller, so I don't know if this is meant for foundation or not, but 
I am just going to use it as a foundation. So we're just gonna tap that in like so. So I'm using this brush by tapping and not pulling or anything like that. Just tapping the product into the skin. Flawless, so flawless. Y'all see that? Oh my gosh. Look, y'all know how I get when products are good. Just make me wanna say, period. <laughs> so the finishing look to this is so beautiful. It's flawless. You guys see how smooth it is looking. Yo, yeah, this foundation is very, very pretty. For concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Caramel. Actually, I have Caramel and Tan, so I'm gonna mix these two together. I always forget which one is brighter than the other one, but mixing them two together is so nice and pretty. So I'm gonna grab my beauty blender and just blend this concealer in. I haven't used this concealer in a long time, so I don't even remember how it actually performs at all. So we shall see. So I'm just gonna blend this all in. And I know it looks like super bright, but once I um, contour and stuff, it's gonna come all together. So what I'm doing is just grabbing that foundation brush and just blending the edges out with that leftover foundation on the brush just so it can look smooth and pretty, pretty nice. To contour, I'm gonna grab this ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick in the shade Dark Deep 210C. I haven't played with this foundation stick in such a long time. I think the next affordable drugstore uh, makeup tutorial I'm gonna do, I might play with this. And then I am going to grab my Zova um, 122 Petite Stippling Brush and just start blending this contour upwards well foundation upwards you don't want to blend it down because it's going to look so muddy and that's not what we go for when we blend out our contour y'all i just blended so freaking much but do y'all see how flawless after blending all of that in it looks so flawless and woo! Woo! Listen, I, I also got scared about that highlight, girl. I was like, oh, girl, I just used so much concealer. So now I'm going to go ahead and set before I start creasing. I am going to grab this Morphe Bake and Set Setting Powder in the shade Banana Ridge. I normally don't use this setting powder like that, which I need to start. But it's not bad. It does give me that yellow under eye that I always go for, um, which is good. But I just, you know, I don't know. Maybe because I play with a lot of products and I just be forgetting to mess with this one. So I'm gonna start light with this setting powder and then I'm gonna add a little bit more. So good. So for bronzer, I'm gonna grab this Milani um, Silk Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade 04. I think I mentioned this so many times, but this is the darkest bronzer that they own, which is a bummer because it's such a nice bronzer. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette, and this is the second palette that they came out with, and this is how it looks, you guys. This palette is beyond gorgeous. I have played with this palette more than once now, but it is amazing, it's gorgeous. Get your hands on this because it's worth your money. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here, fill in myself, and it's like a nice orange. And I'm just gonna work this all over my eyelid with this Morphe M504 brush, fluffy brush to work into the crease with. I just tap off the excess and just start working this into the crease. So now I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow right here and it's called My Man. Now this is like a super, super bright orange let's just blend that a little bit lower and i'm also using this morphe m114 brush so i'm just gonna work this a little lower 
I'm gonna just like really pile it in that crease because I really want to see this orange. It's so vibrant. It's so like bright. Kind of reminds me of like a neon orange. So I really want this eyeshadow to really be seen. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab Homeboy and I just decided to do this right now. So I really don't have a nice flat brush for this. Um, I'm gonna grab this Morphe M30 brush and just take this Homeboy eyeshadow and just place it on top. It's a little bit darker. Um, and this is going to act like a little base for um, that orange glitter that I'll be working all over my eyelid. Tap, 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 tap. Yep, so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. So for the glitter, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the new Morphe 24A Artist Pass eyeshadow palette. Now, I am using a lot of Morphe products today because um, they sent me some new stuff, so I decided why not use a lot of them in this makeup tutorial today, but this is how this palette looks. It's so gorgeous. I'm gonna grab this one right here, and it's such a pretty orange. That is called Wild Out. So what I'm gonna do is grab a flat brush, and this is the Zova Detail Shaper 237 brush. I'm gonna grab some of that glitter. I don't know if I should do, use a brush or my finger, so we shall see. Oh, that's pretty. No fallout with this eyeshadow. are looking super pretty I'm gonna go back into the palette and grab is it homeboy right here and I'm just gonna work this under my water lash line I mean you guys if this has not sold you to buy this palette I don't know this palette is beyond gorgeous I've seen a lot of eye looks with this palette too so you can do so many looks with this palette but today I'm giving y'all orange spring vibe approve look okay i just realized so because this eyeshadow has a brown oh uh, i'm gonna grab that brown you guys i gotta smoke it out a little bit just a little bit and for that i'm gonna grab this morphe m 431 brush it's a little bit smaller it's more like a pencil brush and that's just gonna like get in there a lot more and smoke it out even more like a little does go a long way with morphe eyeshadow palettes like seriously so I'm gonna do something a little off, grab this pencil brush and just like add a little bit of that brown into that crease, just a little bit, not so much. It's gonna like pretty much be picking through in there. Go back into that brush and blend those two eyeshadows together. So the eyes are pretty done. They look super nice. Like I love, love, love. How pretty it looks <laughs> so for eyelashes I'm going to grab uh, these eyelashes I've never tried morphe eyelashes ever um, but today we trying out morphe eyelashes and this is in the style go on and fake it Ooh, they're so dramatic so for lash glue I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty stick tape lash glue looks like this um, and I'm just gonna you know Apply this lash glue on this bad boys. Let it air dry for a minute. So let's go ahead and just place this one on here. Bam! Okay, Morphe. I see you. Lashes are on you guys and they look pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and blush away. I'm gonna grab this slick blush. This is in the shade flame perfect palette for this whole look it's giving me orange vibe and it's so freaking pretty i'm gonna just like mix these three together oh and just blush okay that's gorgeous so for highlight i am going to grab i have not used this highlight in such a long time and i'm so disappointed because this is the real deal this is the ColourPop x um 
what is it called? Makeup Shayla. I think this was her first collaboration with them. Um, I am going to grab Booming and Pose. I love mixing them together. You might not be able to tell the difference, but I can. Um, but just gonna place that. This highlighter is very gorge. To blend everything in, going back into that blush brush and blended those two together. I am almost done, you guys, for lips. I was debating whether I wanted to do like an orange lip, but the problem is I don't have any affordable orange liquid lipstick or even lipstick. Um, so I'm just gonna grab a Morphe gloss that I just got and a Morphe lip liner. Um, this is another gloss that I got. I've been liking the Morphe lip glosses a lot. They're so bomb. So for lip liner, I'm gonna grab this Morphe um, lip pencil in the shade Bar. But for gloss, I'm gonna grab this Morphe lip gloss in the shade Chill. And it's like a nice nude. Okay, so to set everything in, I'm gonna grab this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Y'all, this is the best setting spray, hands down if you want that luminous look. I have been loving this setting spray, y'all. I've been using it nonstop. It's bomb. So this is how the look turned out, y'all. It's so cute. Loving this orange vibe. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and change and just, you know, do something with my hair. I'm not even gonna do nothing with my hair. I'm just gonna, you know, comb it out and stuff, change into something a little cute, presentable, and you guys, I'll be right back. All right, my babies, so this is it for this look. What do you guys think? I love it, okay? I wasn't expecting it to look this good. I mean, yes, I did, but like, you know, I was actually trying to match with this orange outfit, so I didn't expect it to really look this nice together. I thought it's gonna clash a little bit, but y'all, it looks really, really nice. I love it. Y'all already know the drill. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy and love this glam. All drugstore are all affordable and we still look good. <laughs> As usual, my loves, I will list all the products in the description box and where you can get each and every item. I love y'all so, so much. Now, I'm Penasana and I will see you guys in my next video.